the industry? Well, you know, I've been a cigar smoker my whole life, but I never thought I'd be involved in the uh, in the, in the manufacturing and, and selling of the product. But um, my two partners, or my partners, I should say, from Nicaragua, um, and they're they're Cuban by birth. Tremendous history and background, but I was sitting at my cigar lounge, Silverleaf, in Fort Worth, Texas, and I think they ran out of gas or something in front of Silverleaf. So they came in and they were waiting to get you know, their car worked out or whatever, and they started rolling cigars. So I started talking with them, and, and of course, Fort Worth's a very, you know, Texas is very friendly anyhow. So they were treated so well, they stayed for three days. And about the third day, I, you know, after, you know, I finally said, can you roll me some cigars, my own cigars, what I like? And they go, absolutely. So um, I said, let me tell you what I like, and they go, no, no. We've been watching you. We know exactly what you like. And so they rolled a thousand cigars for me. And in six months, I got them. You know, after they went through the aging process and they continued the aging process. And uh, I loved them. So I started handing them out to my friends. And, you know, and they go, oh my God, you know, this, this cigar is incredible. Many people said, hey, yeah, this is the best cigar I've ever smoked, or one of the best I've ever smoked. And so they, you know, they were. You know, they're, they're, they're Cuban uh, refugees. Some of them came over on a little rowboat. Some of them got in, you know, um, the normal way. But um, but they never had the capital um, to really develop the brand. And they've been in business since 1934. Their family and their grandfather managed many of the major factories. They know everybody, uh, all the old Cubans. They know all the, you know, all the old brands. They know everybody. They introduced me to all kinds of people today that, that I've just seen in magazines or that are kind of legends in the industry. But um, So I said, yeah, let's do something together. So um, we formed um, the Cal Cigars and we promote the Gilmez Sanchez family right along with us because without them we wouldn't have the quality of cigars we have. Yeah, my background, um, you know, is, is marketing and and there are so many people out there that only want the order from you, and you know their follow-up is not good, and their and their um, you know their customer service falls off. Well, I'm in the restaurant business also, and you know you have to be up every day. You've got to do the same job, same consistent job every day. Well, a lot of industries that isn't, and in the cigar industry, you know sometimes the follow-up's not good, sometimes the quality varies dramatically. And so we, I decided that I need, I want, when I, if I'm going to be in this business, if I ask you to sell my product, then I've got to do whatever I can to support you. You know, and people, you know, and a lot of companies do it with, with events, which we do. But more importantly, I want, I want to recognize you as, as a, as a seller of our product. So what we're, what we're doing now is we've, we've got this crew here, and they're, wa and they're wandering all over, getting people. They bring them in, we, it's called My Story. They tell their story. How did they get in the cigar business? Why they're in the business? Where, they're, where their place is? What they like? So we're helping to promote their, uh, their store, and hopefully they, people will sample our product, and we are not having much of a problem. Once we do an event or once people smoke our product, um, we, 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 we have continuing orders, and it works very well. But, um, so I, I, I want to give something back to the retailer. That's what my, uh, my desire is. And so I want to form a, a loose partnership with them. And, and we've been successful in doing that. And we've done probably over 125, maybe 150 interviews in the last day and a quarter, or day and a half now. And, uh, um, and we'll be contacting those people. They're placing orders now because we've done something for them. They're going to do something for us. Okay, Al, so what are your plans for the, for the future? Distribution, things of that nature? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, initially, our presentation has been in the U.S., but we just um, were wrapping up agreements for Mexico. Very difficult market because they have a 300% um, tax on imported cigars, but I think we're going to be able to work through that. We're trying to get a worldwide presence, and our advertising and marketing to this to date has been 
on a worldwide basis. Um, and I don't have, I, I don't buy green bananas, so I don't have much time uh, to get this job done. You know, uh, hopefully I got a good solid 10 years to really build a good brand. But uh, I wish I would have gotten involved in this industry 20 years ago. But I'm having a good time. We've got, we've got a wonderful sales staff, good social media marketing people working for us. Um, and uh, and we'll, we'll see what happens.